Welcome to a new video exploring two very beautiful and flowery hilltop villages in the French Riviera, with views to the hills, the plains below, and the Mediterranean afar. My day started with a visit to Bochum les Mimosa, a small village built up the hillside, with houses in earthy pastel tones and the typical muted green or blue shutters with facades beautifully decorated with lush bougainvilleas, hydrangeas and jasmine flowers, and a maze of narrow cobbled streets winding between them. What I most love doing on these villages is just wandering about them with no particular destination, enjoying the little details, the picturesque corners, the flowery facades and the glimpses of views in between the buildings. And it is on this ramble that I want to take you today. The month of June and early July are especially perfect for visiting these villages. It is then that most of the flowers are in bloom, creating this beautiful spectacle of color and bringing so much freshness to the streets in the early hot summer days. Bochum Le Mimosa is around 45 minutes to an hour away, driving from Saint Tropez, and it is a perfect tour if you are visiting it. On its main street, you will find a wide variety of shops selling local and artisanal products. I love wicker accessories and I was very much looking to get myself a wicker hat to protect me from the hot sun on my walks in these villages. Right across from the church of saint Rofin, there was this almost inconspicuous little store and atelier fully dedicated to creating and selling all sorts of beautiful wicker hats called Le Bibi du Midi. This was the perfect opportunity to buy me one and I went with the beautiful Bora hat that I used for the rest of the day. Afterwards, I kept on exploring the upper part of Bochum and Mimosa, from where you can have more wide open views of the landscape, all the way down to the Mediterranean and the Yer Highlands. This upper part of the village felt quieter, with less people around, and it was so very picturesque.
On my way back, I passed once again through the main street with an energy that contrasted with the quietness of its back roads. I peeked here and there into some stores and their displays outside before finally heading back to the car. Right when I was almost back at the car, I noticed this other artisanal store that I didn't see on my way to the village. I had been looking for a slightly smaller wicker bag, and the couple here caught my attention. This store also has a beautiful array of clothes, accessories, homeware, and it is worth a visit. And I ended up buying this beautiful bag. Not far away and towards Saint-Tropez, you can find the small village of Crimo. We spent the second half of our day discovering this picturesque village, which is smaller than Bormle Mimosa, but also very much worth the visit. This village is even quieter than Bochum Le Mimosa, but it is as flowery and picturesque. The houses here are more on a raw stone facade style, but the presence of ivies, bougainvilleas, jasmine flowers, cypress trees and potted flowers is also a constant. I spent a good couple of hours just wandering around, taking breaks from the sun in the shaded narrow alleyways and by its fountains, and admiring all the details, the quietness and the views. While I did not find any particular store here that caught my attention, that was probably good as I had done my fair bit of shopping for the day. This way, my full attention here was turned to the beauty and authenticity of the village itself.
I hope you enjoyed coming with me discovering these two beautiful towns in the French Riviera, both just a stone's throw away from Saint-Tropez. I will continue to share more beautiful little villages in the south of France in the upcoming videos, so don't forget to subscribe to not miss these very charming and flowery places. I hope to see you on my next week's video.